Good afternoon, it's Mike from Cycling in the French Alps and today we can see Mont Blanc just in the cloud bubbling up, possible afternoon thunderstorm. So today I'm just out for a short ride, I did a load of FTP efforts yesterday um, which kind of confirmed that my hour power is around about 295-300 watts so I'm pretty pleased with that and today I'll be covering off three key danger zones on the Marmot course so I'm just going to blast across the valley here, go up the other side and I'll rejoin you at the top of the Côte de Damancy. So this is the summit of the Côte de Demancy where Bernard Eno won the 1980 World Championships. I've got a video on the course which if you click up here you'll click through to that. So coming back to the Marmot, the three key danger areas. The first one doesn't really have to be a danger area, it's the descent of the Glandon. So it's neutralised, you go over the timing mat at the top and you rejoin the timing at the bottom. Suffice to say, the first couple of bends down from the top are super steep and it's a technical descent all the way down and there'll always be some idiot that's hooning it even though there's really no need to you can take your time all the way down to the bottom even stop for water halfway down and there was a story one year where there was two guys guy in front had a gopro on his bike he tried to take it off his handlebars to take some footage of his mate uh, lost it in a corner and took his mate out as well so be careful the second key danger point is the train crossing. Now this is between the bottom of the Glandon and the start of the Telegraph. It's on the outskirts of Saint-Jean-de-Morian. Now this screenshot from Google Earth shows the train crossing and the rail tracks don't go perpendicular to the road. So they come across at an angle from your right hand shoulder to your left shoulder. So it has been the scene of many accidents. So please take care there. And finally, the third danger point is the tunnels coming down the Col de Glibier, Col de Lottere. So as you get down to the little ski town of La Grave, uh, there's some long tunnels. They used to be super dark, but now the lighting has improved. Um, but it's a good idea just to take your sunglasses off just as you're approaching the tunnels so your eyes get used to the dark. And then it's just a non-technical descent all the way down to Bourg d'Oisam. Thanks for joining me on episode four of the Marmot Diaries. Next time we'll be looking at switchbacks, hairpin bends, whatever you want to call them, and how you can save some energy going up the final climb of Alpe d'Huez. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Any questions, drop them in the comments below.